Hey guys, what's going on friends and family? My name is Skyland. Today we're gonna be playing a prototype game kind of simulator thing. It's pretty weird. It's actually an amazing tool, I think, potentially. And also a kind of a fun game, actually. It's called PC Building Simulator. Uh, right now you can actually check out the prototype for free. As you can see, the career mode is not in the game, but from me just testing out the game so far, it actually seems like it could be really intriguing. Like there could be a real game here very exciting stuff. Now I've built a plethora of different PCs uh, so far in my life, though I've kind of stuck to sort of like the mainstream type of components. Um, however, I'm very interested in building um, some weirder machines, some weirder PCs, you know, some smaller PCs, and I think that this game could help me get back into the flow of things, and I do plan on building a machine here for you guys, actually, a budget build, you know, kind of help, you know, elucidate some of the, you know, complexities, the intricacies that is, uh, you know, PC building. Uh, this game is going to definitely be a tool that I think I will actually use. Uh, to help me and I think it's gonna be great for anybody who wants to get into PC building or get back into PC building and maybe learn about some new parts now um, we have a few parts uh, already in the game very very few sparing uh, you know, but uh, I think that mm, we I think if they add in like the newest parts or they add in you know the more popular parts then people could kind of get used to them and kind of see how they fit in certain cases but right now we only have like one case uh, just two graphics cards you know etc but uh, you know potentially this game could be really engrossing uh, as a video game and really good as a tool for people to kind of see you know actually physically see their, their build that they want to do before they even purchase it that could be amazing so let's jump into the tutorial guys um so hi and welcome to pc building simulator to get started with this tutorial um blah 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 controls and we are going to do that now so far um what i know is you can go all the way up to cabling so there might be some glitches and stuff like that hopefully not it's still in development obviously it looks pretty early in development but let's go ahead and toggle the window here and uh, yeah, here is our little workbench. Now you're actually, I think, an employee or maybe potentially the owner slash manager, I don't fucking know, of a uh, computer repair shop or com just computer shop store. Um, so you can actually use this button to kind of rotate the little PC uh, there. Now we only have one case and it actually looks pretty similar to a case I had. The uh, the Scout, the cooler, I think it was Cooler Master um, Scout. You guys remember that? Do you remember that one? Anyways, uh, so this kind of looks similar to that. And as you can see, it's it's fully featured, pretty much. Um, personally, what I have, I use the Corsair Air 540, and also have um, it's either 520 or like 560. I have a, the big and small version of those cases. So those are the ones I'm using personally right now. Um, but uh, hey, there's this one. This is a pretty usual form factor for a lot of PC cases. Now, right now, there is no LED lights. You know, maybe maybe we could dock off a star or something for that, but <laughs> like LED lights, man. Okay, anyways, that's not necessary. So let's go ahead, let's get started. Here's a tutorial. Um, the first thing that we need to actually do for any PC build, and actually, if you want to use this kind of as a tutorial, like the game itself or this video for how to build a PC, absolutely, man, I'm, I'm fine with that. Definitely plan on doing that pretty soon anyways, but uh, yeah, here we go. So what you you can't have the motherboard directly on the, the back plate. That's just that's just bad. You don't want to do that for a number of reasons. Just don't do it. So what we need to do is actually install um, some standoffs, I believe. Uh, we need some screws. We need to screw in some stuff. So what we're going to do is miscellaneous. Uh, we go into the standoffs and uh, yep, we need to plug those in there. And the motherboard is going to sit slightly off the back plate there. Yeah, yeah. No, you get it now. Okay, so we're just gonna throw these guys in here. Now, um, some things are gonna be missed in this tutorial. Like, you're not gonna really get to get a feeling, like a physical feeling of what it's like to actually put these things in. And there's gonna be some things that are gonna be missed. Like, you can mess up in certain ways. So there are different kind of screws. Like, there's different screw sizes. So you need to make sure you have the right screw sizes whenever you're screwing anything in. Because you could, you could fuckle up some things, okay? Anyways. Okay, so we need a, a power supply. You want the power supply in first because it helps with uh, anti-static as well and the power supply is going to fuel everything so there we go okay so we got the power supply in also you see the account balance in the top there that's because we can actually go over here to the shop and we can actually purchase uh, new items here if we want to um as you can see though there's not really much there and there's no graphics which i'm assuming there's going to be graphics um also you can see it's kind of hard to read the font so everything is just super prototype right now but actually i'm i'm very excited I'm very excited. So anyways, um, th hopefully they do focus on getting those new, you know, the newest cards, the newest cases or most popular cases. Um, it should be pretty easy to research which ones are the most popular and uh, then just kind of, you know, put it into the game and then people can, you know, try it out for themselves. I think this would be great. In fact, if, if this could be so good that I could I could see sites like, I don't know, iBuyPower or probably not iBuyPower because they actually make money from people, you know, buying pre-owned PCs or not pre-owned, but pre-built. Um, maybe maybe sites like Newegg. Newegg could totally like freaking sponsor this game, you know, just throw it up. Hey, want to help building your PC? This game will help you. I think that would be fucking amazing. In fact, uh, I probably will champion this game quite a little bit because I like educational stuff. 
And uh, at the same time, this is still, it's going to become a full-fledged game. So we need a motherboard, so obviously we're going to go into motherboards, and we have the Asus uh, motherboard here. Asus is kind of like the titan of um, M MOBO makers. They also make some pretty cool laptops, um, but overall, you're basically going to see Asus and MSI. Uh, there's also some others. I had an AS Rock, but I don't know. I think uh, overall, just like the most known is going to be Asus with a very close second to MSI. Uh, they make a plethora of, I think MSI makes, um, yeah, they make some really good laptops too, now that I think about it. So they make a plethora of other things too. Also, my, my, my basically everything Asus that I can have, I do have. So my my freaking monitors are Asus as well. So I, I like Asus, okay? That's all I'm saying. A lot of people want to know if brands are, you know, they're good or not. And Asus is one of those that tends to be, you know, the higher quality, also higher price point stuff. So, okay, at this point in real life, you would install the screws. Um, but yeah, in this game, you don't need to do that. Hopefully they actually make us do that. I'm kind of hoping. Um, I know when it comes to like the gun uh, simulator sure games, <laughs> simulation, uh, you actually have to put in every individual screw and everything. And that just be kind of good practice, I think. But uh, anyways, in this game, you don't have to do that. So normally, yeah, you would screw in things. I would like it, like I mentioned previously, if you had to actually use the appropriate size screws okay next we're going to install the cpu um this is basic it's the it's the thing that you need to you need it's very fucking important a lot of people who are making gaming machines think that the cpu might not be important it is incredibly important especially nowadays when everybody wants to be taking amazing screenshots 4k screenshots do you guys want to be you know streaming you guys want to be recording um the cpu is going to help you do that and uh, also allow you to multitask just a little bit uh, so yeah, there's that. Anyways, we're gonna use a dummy CPU, I guess here. So let's toggle that window. Um, okay, so we're gonna be using an Intel, I think, um, setup here. So we're gonna open this guy up, and this is something that you don't get in the game. Okay, so when you're doing this, this is incredibly nerve-wracking. One, the CPU's fucking expensive. Two, it's incredibly delicate. And three, if this is your first time ever building a PC, it. Oh man, it makes some noises. It makes some noises and you gotta use a little bit of force that maybe you don't want to use. So we're gonna seat the CPU. Now, one thing that it's not showing is like, it's not really showing you how to do this, but uh, I think right here is uh, the little gold triangle. So whenever you're, you're putting in your CPU, there will be a gold triangle uh, that shows you the direction that like it, it should be oriented in. Okay, so the CPU can only go in one way. If it doesn't just like mad, if it doesn't just fall in, it should just glide right in. If it doesn't do that, then calm your horses, okay? <laughs> you need to make sure it's aligned because if those pins get misaligned, you're dead. It's GG. Uh, that's hundreds of dollars you just wasted. So you need to make sure it's aligned and it's gonna go in. Now, here's the second scary part, actually closing this. Now, right here, this lever is gonna go down. That actually requires a little bit of force and it's gonna make some noises. It's gonna be a little bit kind of fucking scary, okay? But don't worry, don't worry. Just just go with the flow and just pray to the gods. <laughs> no, it, it, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. It just seems scary. All right, now we're gonna apply some thermal paste here. Thermal paste uh, allows it so that there's is, there's better like, you know, um, surface to surface connection. It just helps with the cooling. So you you need, you just need it, okay? Just, just You just need it. Um, it's gonna be miscellaneous. You got the thermal paste uh, and we're just gonna Give it a little dibbity dam. Now we're gonna install the CPU cooler. Okay, so here's the cooler. The cooler can be kind of, it can make some noises too, and it can be kind of scary. Um, but don't don't worry, guys. Especially the Intel ones is it's pretty easy to use. Uh, Intel stock cooler. Slap that in. And there's actually, um, so we're gonna do the graphics cards next. But there's actually like these four little th screws that for some reason this game didn't require us to uh, utilize. But you kind of just like press these buttons and it locks in. So it's it's pretty easy. At least the Intel um, fans there. Okay, now we're gonna do the graphics card. Now graphics card. If you ever played, you know, like Super Nintendo or cartridge based thing, like you know, you know, DS or something, you just you just slot it in. Now depending on your motherboard though. You might have extra slots, as you can see here. Uh, some of those are like for, you know, maybe network cards or sound cards or a capture card or something like that. Or maybe even second uh, GPUs. Make sure, it, I'm pretty sure it's almost always, or it, it always is, the one that has the highest bandwidth um, and the one that's really meant for your main graphics card is going to be the one closest to the CPU. Uh, so you just slot it in there. It can really only go one way. And there's also going to be like a little lock thing. Make sure it's locked. And also make sure the screws, man, screw in your graphics card, dude, or else it, it could slowly bend and warp and you, if that's a hundred, that's a hundred, two hundred, three hundred dollars more wasted, dude. So don't do that. Okay. Make sure everything is screwed in and slotted appropriately. All right. So here we go. Graphics cards. We have two graphic cards here. We have the Asus GTX 680, uh, SLI. I don't, honestly, I don't suggest doing SLI. That's, 
don't don't do double GPU or SLI cards. I don't think it's really worth it for most games. Um, so just get one big sexy card, and the Radeon RX 480 is uh, well, that's pretty bang for buck, right? So let's slot that big boy in there. I like how it's just Radeon. I don't know. It's it doesn't have the appropriate graphics and everything. That's one thing I would like if if this if this uh, simulator could actually have the appropriate graphics for all these things. That would be great. So now we're gonna do uh, the RAM. Okay. So the RAM. The RAM is, mm, okay, so we need to open these up. First and foremost, open these big boys up, okay? Now, when you're installing RAM, you see all these are different colors as well? Uh, yeah, what you're gonna need to do, what you're gonna need to do is if you only have two two um, little cards or whatever, if you only have two memory sticks, they're sticks, um, you wanna put them, okay, first on the blue, right there, and that's called dual channel memory. So really, I don't think you need more than eight gigabytes if you're just building a starter uh, PC. So get two sticks of four gigabytes and they don't need to be a ludicrously expensive. They don't need to be. And they don't need to be like giant heat sinks or anything either. So just get two of those unless you're gonna be overclocking really, but you don't need to. Okay, and then put them in dual channel like that. So they need to be separated like that. And when you click them in, so yeah, you actually have to push them in and it kind of does it itself in here, but you actually got to put some force into it. Your, your motherboard's going to creak and it might even seem like you might break it, but you got to put some force and you got to make sure it clicks. That's very important. So there we go. Seat those in. Now we're going to do the hard drive, the hard disk drive. Um, I, it's really suggested that uh, maybe you have a solid state drive for your operating system so that it boots up really fast. Um, and also you might want one just for games, a solid state drive for like big games like Grand Theft Auto that take forever to load. But, you know, having an HDD is totally fine because solid state drives are still pretty fucking expensive. Unless you can get them on sale. I got one on sale recently and I put Grand Theft Auto and Guild Wars on it. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go to our inventory and um, actually you do you, um, when we go when it comes to um, let's see. Do we have actually wait, what's miscellaneous? Do we even have uh, DVD drives? Anyways, we'll get we'll get to that. Uh, but anyways, you don't need uh, DVD drives. So yeah, memory is for RAM. Uh, but then when it comes to doo -doo -doo -doo, let's just go all items, uh, DVD drive, simple fan, Seagate bear. Okay, there we go. Okay, there is the hard drive. Hard drive is pretty good. And if you're gonna be doing re recording and stuff, it's really good to be recording onto a different hard drive than the game you're playing and like stuff like that. If, if you're doing any program, then you want to have a second hard drive that's util like you're utilizing both hard drives at the same time kind of, because if it's trying to read and write from the same drive with multiple programs, it gets slow and complicated. So just keep that in mind. It could be good to actually purchase um, two smaller drives. And lastly, we'll install a fan in the back. So here we go. And then also the, this actually goes all the way to cabling that we can do. So let's go ahead and get a simple fan and slap that in. Okay, the last part of the tutorial is cabling. To start it, doing press F, um, press F1, press F1, and then we have the cabling, and you can actually see where we can turn the cables and everything. And uh, yeah, the, this case, and many cases, most, I think, modern cases have this fake back where you can actually do cabling and you can see holes where cables can go through. Let's see how this uh, game does it or handles it. So anyways, we're gonna do, uh, let's see, we, okay, we gotta actually, well, let's move this over here. Okay, so um, I'm assuming this is a modular power supply, so we're just gonna click this. Oh, God. Click the name of the connector, connector you wanna install. Um, it should be, wait, was it a six pin or eight pin? I'm just assuming it's eight pin. Okay, there we go. And okay, so it's gonna automatically, so it looks like we're not gonna be able to physically move the pin, I mean, the cables. Uh, but cable management is also part of the fun and love of uh, setting up a PC. Now, some people might hate me when I say this, but cable management isn't entirely necessary. Like, don't think you need to manage the cables before you can even turn on the PC. You don't. It's, it's, the, the computer will be fine, okay? It just, it helps with, you know, a lot of other things, but it's, I mean, I guess it could barely help with cooling. No, barely. Okay, uh, two 24 pins for the ATX. Wait, is this one I want to do? Okay, ATX power uh, provides power to the motherboard. So this is gonna be a big ass thing. Um, this thing can actually be really hard to push in and take out. So yeah, um, yeah. For low power, dedicated graphics cards. Since they don't need an additional power connector, they get all the power they need directly from the motherboard. You press T. Okay. So there we go. Um, this this guy needs the power. This guy needs extra power. Some graphics cards require two. I know my GTX 970 requires two uh, big boys there. I think it's two six or it might be just two eight. Whatever. Uh, this is for I think the fan, right? Uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna cable provides additional power to CPU. Oh, the CPU. Sorry. So this is CPU. There we go. Toggle that. So this is for the motherboard. That's for the CPU. This is for the graphics card. Uh, those are the biggest, bangest things. We gotta turn this around so we can connect to this big boy. Uh, this is 
I'm so stupid. I- it's just Seda. Okay, sorry, it's Seda. Um, actually, the Sedas normally look kind of like daisy-chained, so like you'll normally have like multiple Seda cables. Uh, just- yeah, just plug those in wherever. Is a 15-pin cable used to provide power to CD drives and things like that, so it's- yeah, in your PC, it's probably gonna look like this, except there's gonna be like one, two, three, four. Anyways, yeah, I'm, hey, I'm getting- I've been getting back in the flow of this. It's been- it's been a year since I made a PC. Come on, man. Come on, guys. Give me some love. Um, and wait, we need to connect the, the fan. Or is in this game, do we not need to? You can kind of duck here. Kind of duck here. Um, normally you would connect stuff to the fan and things and stuffs, but I guess we're fine there. Um, wait, there's also like stuff we need to connect here from the case. I think that, uh, let's see. Wait, is there any other green thing that it's kind of trying to highlight here? And I don't think we get to do proper cable management. Yeah, we don't get to do proper cable management. Um, but it looks, it's fine-ish. Pretty built right now. So I think this might be the end of the prototype here. But normally there, there's things that, you, you know, you need to connect your power button to the, to the actual uh, motherboard. And it would be pretty cool, actually, since this is a computer seemingly like a repair shop. It would be interesting if this game had a, uh, like, if some parts just didn't work sometimes, you know, to actually test it. That'd be pretty awesome. And then you had to order more parts or, you know, you had to actually figure out uh, how to test the PC and how and figure out which part is actually malfunctioning and things like that. Um, normally you have to actually plug in the fan and there's some other things that we would normally need to plug in. What is this? Why is it still green? Did I, did I plug in the wrong thing? I think I plugged in the wrong thing. Is it a six pin? No, it's, it's eight pin. So I'm not sure why it's still highlighted green because we totally, totally did it. Um, yeah. Yeah, right there. So that, that fits there, that fits there. This doesn't require anything else. So, yeah. I mean, that's pretty- I think that's pretty much it. And you pl I guess you can't even plug it in. But it has these slots here. I don't know if we will be testing PCs. I would like that, to be able to test it and stuff like that. Go a little bit above and beyond. Um, so yeah, what, what else can we actually add in, in here? Let's just go do a final run through. Uh, we can do a DVD drive. How do we even place the DVD drive? Wait, where- where- it should go like right- here. Maybe I gotta turn it? Or maybe it's not even gonna let me because I'm in this part of the tutorial where I can't even do that. Uh, let's see, we press F1 so we can mount- okay, so I can unclick- can I unclick cabling? Yeah, because it's not like letting me click on anything else here. <laughs> okay, anyways, pro I, I did freeze on me earlier, so this could be another freeze thing or I'm just being stupid, but anyways. So, this leaves me pretty excited for, for new people to get into PC building because it is the cheaper and honestly more fun um, option. Uh, and it's it's really really easy to build a PC now. It's really really cheap, especially if you live in America or Europe um, So games like this uh, that could actually turn into real games could be really fun and exciting for people like me who are kind of enthusiasts uh, and, and get excited over geeky stuff like this and like having their hands on the hardware and also to, to new people who want to just maybe maybe you know are just their, their interest is peaked just a little bit into this sort of scene and maybe from playing this game they then you know go and build their own PC. So what I want to see is pretty much everything I mentioned already. I want to see, of course, more cases, more different, uh, you know, leading brand graphics cards, the popular stuff. I want to see all that. Um, I want to, I want to, I want to see what the real game's going to be like, the career mode, because that's that's definitely going to be implemented. I want to see how challenging that is and how fun that's going to be. Um, and also I would like the graphics to be updated, obviously, so it's easier to read and things like that. But all in all, dude, hey, I think this is pretty cool. And I wanted to show it off, guys. I really wanted to show this off, get you guys playing the prototype. Link's in the description below. And all I ask, guys, is uh, give a like so more people can see this video. Subscribe if you want to see more weird niche games and stuff like that. I cover them. Even even games that maybe aren't even exactly games, we kind of review and, and show off. So yeah, if you like that and, yeah, I don't know, you're having fun with the video, then please come back again. And I do hope you guys are having fun. Hey, my name's Skylint, and I'll see you in the next one.